Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my lead code videos. In this one we'll do lead code 1603 design parking system. And while this is not a very algorithmically complex problem, what we will do in this video is try to write a piece of code out and then see how we can simplify and shorten the code. And hopefully you'll learn something out of that. So basically the problem is we're given three variables in the constructor, big, medium, small, representing the number of slots of each parking space. And then every time we add a car of a certain car type, we need to determine if we can fit this car in the slot, right? So big is car type of one, medium is car type of two, and small is car type of three. And, you know, a car can only park in the space of its car type, right? So if there's not a match, then we can't park it. So what will be our approach to solve this problem? Basically, since we know the number of big, medium, and small spots, and all we need to do is determine if we can park a car in there, right? We just need to keep track of how many slots we have remaining, right? So we, let's say if we say big remaining, medium remaining and small remaining. We will use these to instantiate in our constructor. So here we have instantiated them. And now when we add a car based on the car type, we'll see which one to take, right? So we'd say if car type is equal to one, which means it's big, right? Then if big remaining is greater than zero, that means there's more slots, then we'll subtract one because we've used up one slot and we'll return true, right? And otherwise we'll return false. And we'll basically do this for all the car types. Let me copy paste that. So this is for the medium car type. And then finally, let me do it again for the small car type. So this is for the small car type. And at the end, if none of them match, we'll return false. So this should do it. Let's see first if this works. All right, accepted. Let's try to submit before we simplify the code further. Okay, so this is an accepted solution. But now, can we do better, right? So we Notice that we have all this code duplicated over here and it's, uh, it looks quite ugly, right? So let's see if we can simplify it. So one thing we can probably do to reduce nesting is just, you know, combine these together, right? And then return true. And then here, make this an else if, right? So we'll say else if it's two, then also combine it and then return true. And finally, for here, we'll also say else if car type equals three and combine these and return true. And if it doesn't hit any of the cases, then we'll return false. All right, I just formatted the code. So yeah, basically this um, is a bit shorter. It's still duplicative, but let's see if it works first before we give another crack at simplifying it further. So it's accepted, let's submit. Okay, this still works. So, you know, we haven't lost anything in terms of functionality. So um, now what can we do next? Because even though this is a bit better, it's still, you know, duplicating the code. So now notice how we have three variables and depending on the car type, we're accessing that variable, right? So can we somehow just know which variable to go to based on the car type? And actually an array is actually a good data structures for this. So instead of having three variables, we can just have an array of remaining, right, of size three. And instead of doing, you know, each variable assignment, we can just put all of the three in an array, right? And since the first car type is big, We'll put big first, and then medium, and then small, right? And so now, based on the car type, 
we can easily get the index, right? Because if car type is one, index is zero, car type is two, index is one, and so on. So it's basically just car type minus one. So now we can just say if remaining at car type minus one is greater than zero, then what we'll do is remaining at car type minus one minus minus return true otherwise return false and all this goes away right so let's run this it's a bit better but i tell you we can do one more step better than this but let's see first this if works yes it still works so that's good now let's simplify it even further so notice that how we only add car we don't really remove car right so we don't really need to check if it's greater than zero only then we do a subtraction right this this we could do it always right so we can just say that if remaining at car type minus minus greater than zero then we just return this right and basically what this is doing is we're always subtracting even if we have negative cars left we're just subtracting it always and you know since this is a post fix operation if previously there was nothing left then it wouldn't be greater than zero and we return false otherwise we'll return true so this brings it down to just one line of code and let's see if this works all right let's submit perfect yeah so i hope you enjoyed this little drill of you know simplifying code as much as possible now, arguably, I think this version is a bit more readable and intuitive, but you know, if you really want to go really, really short and concise code, you can do something like this as well. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.